Al Sharpton claimed that Meghan Markle was treated differently because she was a black person working in an executive position. American civil rights leader Al Sharpton has claimed that Meghan Markle was treated differently after her beautiful wedding to Prince Harry because she was black and walking in the sea suits. Speaking on Good Morning Britain, the Reverend tried to defend the Duchess of Sussex who, along with her husband, has come under fire for claiming that she did not receive the same support as other royal family members due to her skin color. It is unclear from the interview whom he says is treating Meghan, who is you know, biracial, differently than the other royal family members for her success. But Chapton also used the opportunity to speak out against British TV presenter Jeremy Clarkson's column in which she said he dreams of parading Meghan around naked as people throw faces on her. Clarkson has said or has since apologized for these remarks. In the interview Tuesday morning, Sharpton said that while Meghan's wedding to Prince Harry in 2018 seemed to be universally celebrated, she soon became the victim of racism. I think when they were married it was a beautiful day, the Reverend told a panel of co-hosts and people were celebrating how you saw this woman of color now in the royal family, gospel songs were sung at the ceremony and the queen sitting there and the reaction was so so much acrimony and just looking to treat her differently he said and people who whether you were in the uk or around the world they are always treated differently understood that megan was going through it was somebody black walking in the sea suits for the first time he said claiming marco was the first black person to hold an executive position in the royal family and they treat you differently he concluded i think she became a symbol not for her own making the Reverend then condemned British television presenter Jeremy Clarkson for writing a column in the Sun newspaper in December. Of course, he had written that he hated the Duchess of Sussex on a cellular level and said she dreamed or he dreamed of her being paraded naked through British towns while the crowd chanted Shay and throw lumps of excrement on her. The television presenter later apologized for his remarks, saying he emailed a couple on Christmas Day to say his language in the column had been disgraceful and he was profoundly sorry. He said he should have had another writer read over his column before he submitted it. He also insisted he is not sexist and I harbor violence against women and yet I seem to be advocating just that. I therefore wrote to everyone who works with me saying how sorry I was and then on Christmas morning I emailed Harry and Meghan in California to apologize to them both. I was baffled by what they had been saying on TV but that the language I had used in my column was disgraceful and that I was profoundly sorry, Clarkson said. But Chapton did not seem to accept the apology, saying this article was mean-spirited. The reverend said people can always apologize for things that they said, but what makes you feel that you could say that in the first place? And I think that in many ways they exposed what was really there. Chapton concluded and then people tried to blame Megan for the way you know they have been exposed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have come under fire in recent months after claiming the royal treated Meghan Markle differently because of his of her race. Harry and had since denied calling the royal family racist, but said they were guilty of unconscious bias while discussing Meghan's controversial claim to Oprah that an unnamed royal was as had expressed concerns, but actually skin 